Theodore Russell mainly because I fell in love with his work in Silver Lining Playbook. David is an Oscar-winning director for his work in the Silver Lining Playbook, and he's also known for The Fighter, The Three Kings, and Flirting with Disaster, among others. David knows for his absurd humor and very serious moments. I believe this is shown the most in the Silver Lining Playbook when Bradley Cooper, um, even though has mental issues, just like his father, is more of a comic relief for the very intense moments that's between, the, between them. Mostly because of his mental issues and the state that he's in, but also the disagreements that he has with his father. David is also known for his handheld camera movements, and it's very visible in uh, the film The Fighter, where you can almost see the camera move the character as he's breathing. Um, o. Russell is a very well known for his ensemble casting, um, he, which means pretty much that he gives each character uh, just about the same camera um, camera amount of time which it shows the audience that each character is important no matter how many lines it has to the development of the plot <coughs> David does a bit of exaggeration in his costumes which was very which was very um, very exaggerated in the silver lining in the running scene between Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence um, Bradley Cooper's wearing this plastic running outfit that even though for for any regular character that's just out of the top because of his mental state is just right and very successful for the film especially the scene um, but David doesn't do much editing on his films um, it's very very traditional um, but his and it, that's actually very very easily seen is on in his 180 degree systems. Um, he never really crosses the line. A couple of times he did do it in um, the Three Kings and in the Fighter, but um, that was necessary for those scenes at the moment. <coughs> in the Silver Lining, though, in his conversations and altercations that he has with his father, that Bradley Cooper has with his father, and the conversations between Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper, the the 180 degree system is always there very traditional um, he does do a lot of cross-cutting in silver lining um, when Bradley Cooper's character has mental breakdowns and um, he's having conversations with Jennifer Lawrence especially when they went on their non-date um, Bradley Cooper's character outside of the in the street has this this moment where it's um, it's almost like a mental breakdown for him and um, David Russell does a lot of cross cutting and almost sets the viewers in that situation, which um, is very successful for that scene and just for the entire movie as a whole. Um, o. Russell incorporates a sound and soothing moment for for Bradley's character in The Silver Lining. Um, but mostly when Bradley and Jennifer's characters are together to show the connection between them and the affection, then the effect that they have on one another. In the fighter, though, um, it's mostly during the fights to hype up the viewers. Um, it keeps that excitement and that tension and that unknownness um, occurring throughout the film. O. Russell does um, use sound to emphasize mostly. Um, certain motions that he's trying to evoke for the viewers at the time and he does a lot of um, a very uh, smooth transitions between um, the different the different scenes and keeps a lot of um, very common angles he keeps a uh, um, Certain characters on the left when he's doing his 180 degrees never really switches it up for a bit, for a bit. And um, for his narratives, though, he lets the viewers be the be the narrators almost in a way. The viewers are always omniscient and know exactly what's occurring at all times from the main character's point of view. Though he keeps he keeps them um, in a way knowing what's truly occurring behind the main character's um the main character's sight but yet he doesn't reveal full information letting keeping the viewers guessing on what's truly occurring um towards the end of the film 
so yeah, um, obviously, main reason I fell in love with David Russell was for Silver Lining Playbook. Um, I thought it was a very successful film. I thought um, O. Russell did an amazing job just keeping a movie that had such controversial topics very uh, smooth sailing and kept the viewers in very traditional in the way of watching the movie, but at the same time at the edge of the seat.